Today on Reese Dixon, we are making these mid-century modern starburst ornaments. Hey everybody, it's Teresa with ReeseDixon.com and I'm here with another ornament tutorial for our 60s mod kitschy tree. I found these wooden ornaments at my craft store and I thought this would be a great opportunity to bring a little sparkle in. And so then I had to figure out what to put on them. <laughs> so of course I went back to all of the research that I've been doing about mid-century modern design and came back with this starburst pattern. You will see this starburst pattern all over stuff from the 50s and from the late 50s early 60s and i think it is so classic i just love how it turned out so let me show you how simple it is these are not stickers you'll be able to cut these yourself let me show you how to make our little starburst ornament the first thing you need is your ornament shape which I got at my local craft store in the raw wood section. Pretty easy to find this time of year. And I started by priming it. I just used regular craft paint, so you really don't need an official primer or anything. I just painted it with a couple coats of white so that once I got the silver on the top of it, it would be good and opaque. You wouldn't see any bits of the wood poking through. So that's it for painting you're done with it for painting so now what you have to do is create your starburst shapes so here i have a two inch square and a one inch square and these are going to become our starburst so this is the two inch and this is the the itty bitty one is the one inch and I've got this pattern here. It's just a piece of scrap paper where I rounded the corners. I used my little corner punch here to round off these corners. And this is going to become the negative space that's in our starburst. So for the big one, you just need to draw yourself a little map on the, on the back of your cardstock. So I'm just gonna measure where the one inch line is and go right down the middles <laughs> to make kind of an X, X marks the spot. So now that you know where the exact middle is, you just take your pattern piece here and line it up with your, what do they call these in math? Vertices? I don't know, it's been a long time. With your lines, just line it up with your lines. There we go. So now you just cut and you leave your, you cut on either side of that line. Leave yourself plenty of room there. These are gonna be a little bit fragile, of course, those long tails, but uh, do your best to give it a little bit of room there. Okay, so you get the idea. That little tail there does like to curl up. It's very skinny, um, but that's a great thing. And then once you get your sides, you can actually just trim them down. They don't need to be as long as they are, you can see on this one here, I let my side arms be shorter than those long arms, and that really contributes to that elegant look. So you can just do that a whole bunch of times, however, however many ornaments you are making. And for the little ones, it's the same exact process, except they're so little, you don't need to draw the big X. You just line your pattern up with where that curve kind of naturally starts and stops. You can't, if it helps to draw the grid, by all means keep going, but I really just kind of eyeballed it at this stage. Now, of course, you'll wanna make triple sure that all of your marks, even on these little guys, the little outlines, are on the wrong side of the paper. <laughs> you definitely do not want those to be part of your design. And now we're gonna just stick them onto our ornament. 
I'm gonna actually use a glue stick this time. I found that on the acrylic paint, some other um, methods will kind of mix the color of the paint in with the glue, and then you're kind of painting your paper silver on the top. So for starters, I'm gonna use my glue stick here. And get those stuck down just the way I want them. My starbursts are all good and stuck in place, but the glue stick glue will not be enough for this to be permanent. The glue stick glue will eventually dry out. So I need to give this more security in sticking it down and something that will also protect the paper from getting dirty or wet. And so for this project, I'm gonna use this um, lacquer spray. I love this spray because there's no chance of picking up the color, like I mentioned earlier. The silver will not be on top of your paper pieces. And um, you just wanna make sure that you use this in a well-ventilated area. So I'm not gonna be spraying this <laughs> on camera. I'm gonna take this outside to spray. And then once it's dry, you add the little ornament hanger and you're done. I think this turned out so great. And once you know the secret of the starburst, you'll be able to use it for everything. So thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Be sure and subscribe so you can see how this tree turns out. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.